Hi friends, good morning and welcome to Keto with Libby. Today we are going to be talking about my week three results, but I wanted to do a different style today. I don't have a lot of time to sit down and talk to you, so we are going to do a vlog today. So let's get ready and fix whatever's happening here and get our day started. plans for today have changed. I came out to a very, very flat tire. This guy right here. So we are going to be working on changing that. I got the spare out. I found my jack and my tire iron. So we'll get it going. for the day have changed obviously we are gonna go to the tire shop to get our tire repaired and hopefully this donut makes it to the tire shop because I put it on so it's a little terrifying but yes I will be voting tomorrow but we do still have to take care of the horses so I will still do my week three update when we get to the horses hi friends we are at the horses it is a new day and I've got my car back, good to go. Uh, so we're at the horses doing the week three update as promised. I really hope the volume is okay because it's kind of windy and I am sitting in our pasture doing this video, which makes my heart very happy. So I hope you guys enjoy.
I apologize in advance. I have a straight view of the horses from where I'm sitting, so I might be looking off at them. <laughs> because honestly, who wouldn't? I can show you guys my view. Yeah, I'm just looking right at them, eating their hay. Anyways, so let's talk about week three, shall we? Week three went really well. It, I didn't have any huge changes, um, those hormonal changes that we had talked about in week two have pretty well sufficed. So that made me pretty happy. Um, but I've been feeling good. I'm still not back at work, guys. I go back. Um, you will have this, the day after you see this update, I will be at work. So I'm very thankful to be able to go back to work. We were quarantined for 24 days, my son and I, and he actually still can't go back to school until the 4th of November, but I get to go back to work the 2nd of November, so that is good. But it's given me a unique opportunity to start this YouTube channel to connect with you guys and to really focus and hone down on my keto journey. So I am very thankful quarantine happened. My pocketbook is not so much. <laughs> So I don't think I'm gonna go over everything I ate with you guys because I don't really want to this video. I feel like, let me know in the comments, do you guys like it when I tell you every single thing I ate? I feel like when I was looking for videos, um, I wanted to know what those people were eating so I could copy it. Like I wanted to know breakfast, lunch, and dinner, tell me what you're eating so I can eat that too. Now, if that's not more of your guys' style, I can cut that out or I can resume doing it on week four. But I will tell you, my eating habits have stayed around the same. For breakfast, I'm still drinking a coffee. I've really been having like a mid-morning snack of almonds, some cheese, and maybe some meat. Not usually all three though right now. And then dinner, I do, I've been having pretty big dinners. So you would kind of say I'm moving more forward into this one meal a day aspect and I never thought myself as being like that. Oh, he's playing with the cat. How cute. Um, I never thought of myself as being like a one meal a day person, but my appetite is just kind of pushing me that way. So we'll see where that goes. So I'm really not having a full lunch, still coffee, and that may change when I'm, um, it would be my week five update that I'll let you guys know if that changes while I'm back at work because I do get a lunch at work so I do try to eat so we'll see how that goes let's talk about my results for the week for week three I didn't lose any inches now I don't have my paper in front of me so please pardon me but I didn't lose any inches around my neck around my bicep or around my thighs I lost inches, or I did lose around my thighs. I didn't lose around my hips. So I lost a total of 2.2 inches um, around my abdomen and my thigh area. I will put those exact numbers up here because I don't remember them offhand. Now for my weight, I started this week at 224 even and I ended at 221.8. If I messed that up, I will put it right here, but that is a 2.2 pound loss. I'm still losing weight steadily. I am still losing inches steadily. It is not as much of a change as a lot of people have in the first month of keto. You see all those titles like, I lost 40 pounds in the first month. I lost 30 pounds in the first month. I know that's not how my body loses weight. I have a lot of muscle on my body. I've always been very strong. So I know that my body is protecting my muscle and giving me more of that lean body. Um, so I'm not surprised that I lost 2.2 inches and 2.2 pounds. Um, and I'm not discouraged by that at all. I'm very happy with it. I am not where I started and I'm continuing to grow and that makes me so happy. So the fact that I only lost 2.2 pounds and 2.2 inches, I shouldn't say I only lost, I should say I lost 2.2 pounds and I lost 2.2 inches. I'm also feeling really good. I have a lot of energy. 
I am having some insomnia issues. I have read other people having issues with like insomnia um, on keto and I've never had those issues before. But the last, the last night or two of week three, I just, I could not get to sleep. And I don't know if my brain was worried about editing videos or other things going on in life. I'm not sure. So I'm going to kind of keep track of that, but it kind of does go into week three because I'm shooting this video a few days into week three, unfortunately, or a week four, unfortunately. So thank you guys so much for watching today. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post. So sorry it was shaky. We're outside. It's windy, but I hope you enjoyed seeing the horses and the scenery anyways. Um, thank you so much for joining me on my keto journey. I hope that this video inspired you to start your own journey, whatever that may be. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye!